So in the last video, we got sequence working and that kind of works at the moment. So now what we're going to do is look at Faker, the fake generator, which really powers a lot of test data bot. I figured when I was building test data bot that rather than rely on another library to, or sorry, rather than build my own library that generates fake data, I should just lean on the most popular one out there. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So uh, I think I already have, if I just create a new terminal, I already have fake it installed because the test data bot, the JavaScript version depends on it. So what I'm just going to do now is do yarn add dash dash dev at types faker, I think, not faker.js. Great. So at types is where all the type definitions for libraries that aren't written in TypeScript lives. So let's just get rid of that. And now what we can try and do is write a test for this. So let's get describe sequence out of the way and we'll say describe uh, fake. And let's just say it generates generate some fake data. It's not the greatest test uh, definition, but it will do. So I'll say fields, I'm going to say name fake. And what you do is you give it a function that gets called with the fake, you say f dot name dot. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do, sorry, is just whoops. What I'm going to do is just pop open the JS tests because they have some fake tests. So I can remember the exact uh, f dot name dot find name. Okay. And you notice that TypeScript uh, or my editor rather isn't giving us any um, help with that and, and doesn't know that this f is going to be the fake function, but it, it will do hopefully soon. So let's do import fake. Uh, and let's close that and go back to here. So I'm going to start with my type. So we'll say generate type as a sequence or it's now a faker. Let's call it faker. And I'm wondering if that means this case will, f I kind of want my types to fail here saying that this, we're switching on the generator type, but we're not we're not dealing with everyone. It doesn't look like that is causing an error. So I might actually do some research in a bit into why that is. But anyway, in the meantime, we can say fake generator or faker generator, let's say. Uh, and this gets called with the faker library, which I'm just going to do faker, I guess is what I want. Uh, it's hard to say what it's going to return really because it can literally return anything. So I am actually going to say any for this. Or do I want to say mixed? No, TypeScript doesn't let me use mixed or the linting isn't. Oh, cannot find name mix. I thought that was a new TypeScript type, but let's go with any. Uh, and this is going to be the one case where we do need to, to uh, allow the any type. So the any type is bad because it means TypeScript can't do any assertions on it. But in the case of the faker library, it's, it's very hard to say exactly what it's going to return. So I'm just going to go for any. This faker here, I think, can we auto import this? Because all I really want is to import that type. So can I say import faker from faker? Is that a valid thing? No. Module faker is no it's bottom member faker. Okay. Um if I right click on this and go go. I basically want to look at the types for the faker library. Let's say go to definition. Okay. Declare module faker. The export is this faker static thing. What's that? Um Okay, it's a faker dot faker static. Okay, so it looks like that's what I have to to say we're we're doing. So faker dot Faker static, or maybe I just import that static. Is that still same issue? No, exporting member faker static. Okay, I don't know how I then get at this in terms of how the, what what type is exported that I can then use in my own code. So it's saying that if we module the export, we get this faker static thing. So maybe it is faker dot faker static, but. Is it because it doesn't have a default export? So do I need to say like import as faker from faker maybe? And then this is going to be a faker dot. No, that doesn't seem to be doing the trick. Oh, it's a faker dot faker static. So that is the type we want technically. Faker refers to a value, but it's being used as a type here. I think that's because this, it is actually this interface is, is what I want our function is going to take this interface. Um, and so I think if I were to like take faker and do faker dot, I think I'll get type suggestion if I do name dot find name. But what I want is the type of this faker thing. So it's a faker dot faker static. However, I think the problem, oh, that is finding that. No, there we go. That seems to be doing the trick. Okay, so I'm not well, I'm not entirely clear on why where this is coming from. I, it doesn't seem that I have to to import that. But maybe doing this import did it because I'm surprised that I don't have to do that or something similar. Um, that doesn't seem to work. 
Uh, so that's it. if you're watching this and you, you kind of know what's going on here, why I don't have to explicitly import this. I can just import the whole thing. Um, maybe it's because this is of that type, so I'm allowed to reuse that type. Not sure. Let's roll with that for now. Uh, anyway, so the fake generator is going to take the fake and return something. It's most of the time it's going to return a string or a date or a number, but I'm going to leave it as any for now. This is only a um, warning, not an error. So the field generator um, can either be a sequence generator. We don't need this fake one anymore, I don't think. So let's say that's now a fake generator as well. Okay. Now we're getting an error down here, field value dot call sequence counter. Interesting, argument of type number is not assignable to parameter of type number and faker static. But we know at this point that it's a sequence. Interesting, so I think we're gonna have another case of our uh, of our kind of type narrowing to, to deal with here because it's saying it, it can't call this with the sequence counter, but we can because at this point we know that the field generator is gonna be this. So I think this is a problem with our types because what this this type says is a field generator is a thing that has a generator type and a call function. But what we know is that if the generator type is sequence, then the call is always gonna be the sequence generator. But this type would technically let us say generator, generator type faker, but the call function be sequence generator, uh, if, if I could type it right. And this, this is an invalid type, we know that. So I think what we should do is actually move this onto the faker generator itself. So the generator field generator type will have a type. In fact, maybe the field generator is just one of these things. Yeah, this is what I want, okay. So we're gonna change each of these declarations. So the type sequence generator is gonna have a, a generator type which will be sequence, and it's gonna have a call, which is that function. Um, I think it might tell me to use an interface there for unknown reasons. Uh, so let's do the same thing here. So generator type faker, and the call is that. And interface field generator, now let's say type field generator is either a fake generator or Oops, or a sequence generator like that. And then I think we will swap these for interface. Okay, great. And then do we get some errors down here? No, okay, excellent. So now TypeScript has figured out that the sequence here means that this field value has to be a sequence generator, um, which is excellent. It's kind of annoying it doesn't fail us on the kind of missing all the cases. I wonder what happens if we say case with a, if it knows that that is never going to exist. It does. Okay. So it, it knows what, but it's annoying that it doesn't force us to test them both, but we can say case faker. Uh, and this says, all we want to redo at this point is just say the calculated value equals field value dot call faker. I thought we might get an issue with this. Okay. Argument of type faker static is not assignable to type number and faker static. So it knows here the field value is sequence generator, but it doesn't know here that the value is a faker generator. And why not? Do we need to like break? Yeah, there we go. Okay. So that was why, because of course in a switch, if this case matches, it's still going to keep going. So we need to break to make sure if it matches that, it's not going to match the faker one. At this point now, TypeScript's figured out that field value can only be a faker. So at this point, if I um, go to my terminal and I do yarn, no, yarn jest ts source, is this going to pass? I think it's not going to pass and we get an error. No exported member fake. That's a very fair point. So we need to define the fake function. Uh, and this actually, the sequence is returning a field generator, but we can be more specific because we know it's a faker generator. And let's just quickly change this field generator to the sequence generator. So we're going to return here generator type faker and TypeScript is even completing that for me. And the call uh, is going to take, um, what are we going to do when we call this? Yeah, so sorry, I'm, I'm missing it. Fake is going to take an argument, which is the like user defined usage. Um, which will come back and type. So when we call, we're going to take uh, faker, which is will be given, and we'll return the user defined usage of faker, like so. 
So user find usage needs to be a function that um, is going to take the faker, so that's what faker static, and return any. I think. Let me just get rid of the terminal for a sec so we've got a bit more room. I can't find name fake static. Didn't I use that name up here? Faker dot fake static. Okay. Um, let's just define a quick interface here. So faker user args, and this is going to equal a function that takes faker dot faker static and returns any. So use define usage is going to be this faker user args. It's going to turn a faker generator. Uh, okay, that's not working. The interface doesn't take that. Or rather, I think for like a single thing like this, rather than an interface, we should use a type. Passing error expected. Do we need more brackets around this? No. What's this moaning about? For now, let's just let's just try and get this working. So I'm just going to define this as any. Um, and that is going to work. And then let's uh, create the terminal yarn jest ts dash source and see what happens. Okay, parameter f explicitly has an edit type. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I haven't even updated this test assertion actually, so we'll say f. I'm literally just going to say any for the sake of getting this test working. That's not a good solution. So we use as equal, let's just say const user equals user builder. And what we can say is we'll expect user.name um, to equal, and in jest we can say expect.any, and I'm just going to say we're going to expect a string because we can't assert exactly what it's going to be. And you can see this is where it starts getting interesting because TypeScript now doesn't know that the user has a name because way back, uh, where is it? Up in here, where we type the return function of build, it just says we're going to get back an empty object. And so this user.name here doesn't exist. Now we can fix that temporarily. I think if you put a bang there, or is it the other way around? No, neither of those are working. Um, and there's definitely a way in TypeScript you can do that. Um, but what we can do for now is we can change this type to say x string any. So that's going to say we're going to turn an object which has got a bunch of fields on it. Again, not a good solution, but I'm, I'm all about kind of getting this code working and then we can try and fix it. So that is being generated correctly. And if we log user here, hopefully what we'll see is that we get a random name and I can run it a couple of times to get different random names. So yeah, Roger Dickey. If we run it again, we should get a different one. Pink Reynolds and so on. So that is working, that's great. So what we now need to do is try and tackle uh, the types behind this. So we'll leave this type for another day. I'm going to put a big to do here. This is not good. It's a hack for now. Um, okay, so let's come down here. So the user define usage is going to be a function that takes the faker static thing uh, and just returns an any. So that is going to be faker dot faker static to any. And that's going to need um, another bracket there, I think. I'm sure I've, I'm sure I've defined like an inline function like this somewhere else in here. Yeah, I have it. It's basically this again, right? This is basically the type we want. So what was wrong about? Oh, I wasn't giving it an argument. That's what it is. So we can swap that out for faker user. Whoops. Faker user args. Okay, and at this point, does it know what faker is here? It should do. It knows it's fake static, which we can pass on to use define usage, that's good. So we're going to our test JS, and I think we can delete this. Whoops, delete to there. And TypeScript should know, and it does indeed know that this is a faker static, which is excellent news. And so finally, just to check this is running, let's create a new terminal and do yarn ts jest. Uh, sorry, yarn jest ts source. And we're still passing, great. So that's a good place to start. We now have uh, the fake generator working, it's properly typed. What I want to do next time is probably figure out a better way to do this. So what we're going to need to do is, is use TypeScript's generics to say, okay, 
uh, I'm, I'm calling build and this is the type of the thing I want to get back and we can thread that type through our system rather than doing a generic like you're going to get an object with any because that's kind of bad. Uh, so thank you and I will see you next time.